Welcome to Raw Holla. And then we got Axe on the field as well. Yep. So, I feel like this is going to be a close set, but I also don't know how good either of these players are. We've Actually, seen Truck Stop. Have, yeah, we've seen Truck Stop. Truck Stop. I have gone against Truck Stop. It sucked a lot. But maybe Effie's going to or Effie's going to do something. Is it Effie or Epi? Epi. Epi? Ah, oh, I apologize. Truck Stop's going to get a nice little string there with Lance. Barraza's defense Epi's coming in clutch. barely make it back to stage. The defense keeping him alive. Yeah, Barraza's no, defense is good. When you think about it, like his base, his base defense is good alone, and in my opinion, to an extent, it kind of carries his stats, because some of his stats are kind of weird when it comes to their balancing. But the attack and defense, both being high going together, does make for pretty good stat spread and helps the player a lot when it comes to staying alive and outputting a lot of damage on top of that. Yeah, especially with Axe and Blasters. Earlier we came, uh, we saw, I believe it was uh, Blurry versus Kami. We saw Blasters play a huge role in that, dealing a ton of damage. And then we saw Axe, just from a few matches, I think. I'm not sure. But, I mean, we all know Axe is that one weapon that just, it hits hard and it doesn't stop hitting until you're dead. Mm-hmm. Epi does get a deal I recover, which will equalize the stocks here. Goes, who do you think is going to win this set? Epi's on, on the right track so far, but Truck Stop appears to be the one who's taking this. Taking the first, well, taking the first match, of course. There's still two matches before top eight. But if, I believe if Epi can avoid Lance and get enough blaster hits through, then he should be able to take this over Truck Stop or at least take a match and bring it to a game three. But so far, it seems like Truck Stop isn't looking to take the chance. Getting hits, and also already has Epi and Red on top of that. That's not good for him, but definitely good for Truck Stop because Truck Stop is on Lance and got the weapon throw. Epi barely does make it back to stage. Punishes the recovery to get back. Exhausted recovery, unfortunately, will put them in the coffin. But we do see a little bit of a lead from Truck Stop. Possible, or I wouldn't say two stock potential, but there is definitely potential for a win, if not a really big lead here in the second for the second stock. Another recovery will take out truck stop. And Epi, Epi's looking a little bit more healthy on this stock than he was last time. Because they're in Barraza's the face, you can technically consider him being yellow, as opposed to being close to orange. We also have to take into account Ogrim's defense, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's 7, if I'm not mistaken. But it is quite high, especially for the weapons he has. You can say that both of them have, well, similar stab spreads. Lower on... I believe Ogrim is lower in speed and dex, and so is Barraza, but they're higher on attack and defense. Yeah, uh, Ogrim has, uh, has the capabilities of hitting two decks. But it literally does nothing, so there's no point in, like, you running deck stance or even using the three decks option he has. That'd be close to kill percent now. Oh, that was Dodging close. That <laughs> very close. Drugs up trying to find this kill confirm. That'd be trying to float around, finding a down here, finally, trying to get some damage and looking for an opening. Lance is not very known for giving out many of those, actually. Does manage to get that cider with the taunt right at the end. I would like to say... Game number one. I would like to say, I gave Truck Stop the burrito. <laughs> that was a like that was a good amount of tournaments ago, but I gave him that burrito. It is nice to see him using it. But I do want to mention, Epi didn't do bad. He had Truck Stop in orange. If he was hit a barrage of size hit, that likely would have been enough to KO. So, going into the second game, I believe Epi might have to download with the truck stop, but that's not really confirmed yet, as we do need to see this game out to see if Epi knows to download or not, if he knows truck stop's tactics. But, starting up game one, we do have both players having both of their weapons, and we have truck stop 
already getting some hits in it with Lance. That'd be somewhat, well, not really finding much responses. It does get in line. We have Truck Stop dodging through and missing the Sayer. Missing two, actually. That'd be getting more hits on the Truck Stop than he was last game. Truck Stop finally getting it down like there. Didn't commit to the ground pound, but does get another one. So, we're seeing a little bit more Axe gameplay here from Epi, but unfortunately it does not look like it is working. I was possibly expecting a character swap, honestly. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, sure, the Blasters were doing good, but there was really not much going on with the Axe. So, maybe, I was expecting maybe, like, a Katara pick, maybe, uh, what's it called? Yeah, maybe a Katara pick, maybe... Maybe Sword? I don't know, Lince, I don't, I don't know something different. <laughs> But he did get the stock. Uh, actually, I don't think that was a misinput, but Epi does finally secure the stock. Now, one thing I do want to point out as well Truck Stop sticking a Lance. It's like, when I see him on Lance, I feel like he's just trying to end the set or pull a go next or something like that. Simply because, Ooh. simply because Lance can get KOs really easily and really fast on top of that. Like, you've cast someone off stage and you get a Darren Desair with the right approach, you can take the stock instantly. It's just but no contest. he's finally getting that lead that he's been looking for this entire set. Bring this to a game three if he keeps this up. I feel like Truck Stop is going to go for a Haymaker of some sort. Do I you see think it going. Stop can win this game. And right now, it looks like Epi might be able to win. Ground pound. Oh, shouldn't have said anything. And the lance is coming through once again. Or will we see the act? Nope, we're gonna see the lance. And truck stop once again. Epi did have a good chance of keeping truck stop on axe if he was to hit the recovery. That's just unfortunate that he whiffed it. While we do have Epi on blasters right now, he could make a difference. He can keep truck stop at a distance. Well, I'll be able to yeah, play the Lance can time. close distance very quickly, and it really doesn't have much opening for blasters, because really the only thing you can do is get directly above it, and even with that, you have Nair that stops it, and side, jumps Cider. But Epi bringing this very close to uh, losing, actually, I, yeah. <laughs> Truck stop almost close to closing out this set right now, bringing him to top eight. Epi evened up the damage. He does have Truck Stop going into Dark Red. He takes the match. From blasters. Epi's going to live to fight another day in game number three. I, told, quarter finals. I said that he has a decent chance. Wait, you backed out. What's, what's going on here? Might be resetting. Yeah, it's probably resetting his game. I did say that Epi well, had a I chance. Will, I will say this now. Uh, in the, uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, in the bracket, we do see a 2-0 from Daddy Hezo over New Zomber moving into top 8. Ooh. No, I wasn't expecting that. I was, I was expecting that to be more close, but to see New Zomber being taken out by Izo like that, that kind of raised some concerns. I thought it would be more evenly matched, but so far... We're seeing how Truck Stop is playing. Now we have Heizo popping off as well. But we do have Epi having a chance of taking top 8 away from Truck Stop. That's against the striking. You can you can cast this one. <laughs> well, so after this, I do have to talk to you. I or know. After, after, after full tournament. Wait, after what? After the full tournament, I gotta talk to you. It was a joke, right? It's not. It's it's not a joke anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, just send me a DM after the top eight. I'll 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 talk to him about it in a little bit. But we are loading into Demon Island for game number three of this set. Both players pretty close in skill, I will admit here. Happy just really needs to play a little bit better. Get some more leads. I actually hold the lead. Because last game, we did see him have, I believe, one stock lead over Truck Stop. But ended up throwing away and almost throwing away the set. But maybe this time, Truck Stop? You know, maybe, maybe this time he uh, 
he takes advantage of throwing away the lead and then, you know, wins. We do see Epi here having a small little lead with his blasters. Truck stop now does pick up the lance. We have actually, we've seen a little bit of lance gameplay throughout this tournament so far. We've seen Hezo, we've seen Interstella, and now Truck Stop. We do, uh, what we do know is one of them is in top eight, and one of them isn't. But here's the thing. Even if Truck Stop wins this, he's not going against Hezo next. He's going against someone else. I believe he's going to have to get to winner's finals to fight Hezo in the Lance v. Lance matchup. But Truck Stop does get the first stock over Epi. Epi now trying to play this way very cautiously. Does manage to get a delay recovery to finish off that stock. It's basically a reset here. But, you know... And There's still really anything that anything can really happen in this set. I gotta be honest. Both players, like I said earlier, extremely close in skill. I wouldn't really say play style because I'm definitely seeing a lot more jumps from Epi. But you know that might just be me. I mean, he is playing blasters, and Dare is a good combo starter. It is. Chuck Stop is whooping a lot next right now. Getting a few stairs in. Well, trying to get a few stairs in. Epi finally getting a dare just to get smacked to the side. Trust I'm going for the down light. Large lead here with the second, with the second stock. He had the first stock lead, but you know, it lost it. But now he's taking that lead back. Epi trying to equalize his damage here with the axe. Gets a nice little three piece, uh, three piece with, with it off of a cider. Damage almost equal, dodging the cider from Truck Stop. Both players looking for some damage here, trying to get the confirm. Truck Stop does manage to do it with a down sink. Epi does have a good chance. As I said about Barraza 6, his side sig would be enough right now. Downlight recovery would be enough as well. Probably even a grandpa off the side. A grandpa off the side stage would definitely do, but it seems like Truck Stop isn't taking any risk. He does get the downlight recovery. Like I said, even up the stock, but the damage just isn't even. But Barraza's defense to cover him for it. While we have Truck Stop here. Now on Axe, once again, we did see him getting a good amount of stairs on Axe. And he inflicted a large amount of damage onto Epi as well. I'm pretty sure that caused Epi to go into a slight little, uh, like a slight state of panic. Because when we were seeing... Oh, he's, on this, uh, he's on this last stock of the set here. Ooh. If he does lose this, actually... It... Whatever player loses this last stock will be dropped down to loser's bracket and will have to fight their way into top eight from loser's side. But Truck Stop does get that cider and does get the KO. 